In this video, we're going to create the cow catcher for the Project Lead the Way miniature train assignment. What's unique about this part is it has a surface that is angled, inclined in two different directions. And the best way to create a part like this then would be to create a loft. We'll start out with a new standard.ipt. Puts us in sketch mode. I have it set up so that it automatically projects the origin, or the which is the center point here in the origin folder. And we're going to start this by creating the line above that. And what I want to do is use this center point as a reference point in my sketches. So I'm going to constrain the midpoint. So this would be a coincident point with that and the center point. Now, the reason I do that is you can see that when I drag on one side, the other side stays, we maintain the symmetry, the other side is moving too. Next, we'll continue creating the shape. I'm not too worried about dimensions, I just want to get the shape right. And the next step then is a good workflow would be to constrain the shape first and then add your dimensions. So add your geometric constraints and then add your, add your size constraints. Keyboard, so I made those two equal, these two equal. Now uh, you can see I only need three dimensions. And so I'll start adding dimensions. The bottom is 1.8. You'll find these dimensions in your assignment sheet. And that gives us a height of one inch. With those three dimensions, it's fully constrained. And we can finish this sketch. The cow catcher has a height of 0.75. And there's our XY plane. And from there, we'll create an offset plane. And I'm going to go towards us. And we'll type in that offset distance of 0.75. And then we'll put a sketch on this plane. So we can see this a little easier. I'll hide the work plane and that sketch. We'll go ahead and keyboard shortcut the letter L. And you notice that when I create this line that it's automatically adding a horizontal constraint. Let's go ahead and go back to our front view. And we'll add that coincident constraint like we did in the bottom sketch. This sketch will be the top. And again, you can see that they both reference the same point. So I'm using that as a line for, for my line of symmetry. Let's go ahead and, and I missed that. So let's go ahead and get our shape drawn in. We'll add our geometric constraints. We know that in our shape, the two sides are equal and the two angles are equal. And again, looking down here, we only need three dimensions. Type in the letter D to get into dimensioning mode. That gives us a dimension of 1.2. This is 0.25, just like it was in uh, the bottom of the train or the cow catcher. And this is 0.75. You can see it's fully constrained already with those three dimensions. If we were to add this angle, you can see that um, it's a driven dimension. It would over constrain our sketch. And so this, this angle, given in the assignment sheet, uh, is impossible to make this 50 degrees. And you can see, as a matter of fact, that it is grayed out. And it's controlled by whatever we placed on here, which is these dimensions and the geometric constraints control that dimension. It can't be changed. So I'll leave it there. It doesn't change anything. And let's go ahead now and make our first sketch visible again. And you can see now by using that reference point, 
the center point and putting that on the line of symmetry that these two sketches line up perfectly. That's important for our loft to keep this as a, a plane. So let's go ahead and create the loft. The loft is from this sketch to the top sketch. Let's go ahead and accept that. And so we can see this a little better. Uh, let's make it beige dark. And the keyboard shortcut for a quick rotate like this is F4. The bottom is hollowed out. Let's go ahead and do that as a shell. We're going to remove face. And we want to shell to the inside. 0.1 is our wall thickness. And now you can see we've got a hollowed out cow catcher. Let's go back to our home view. Next, let's put a, um, there's a, a cutout on both sides here. And let's go ahead and create that. If you're unable to put a sketch on this face, the most likely reason is that your loft sketches were not aligned and you have a curve in this. You can only put a, a, a sketch on a plane and uh, you can't put it on a curved face. So let's go ahead and offset now our edges which are projected automatically and let's go ahead and that offset is 0.1 and finish our sketch. Keyboard shortcut is letter E and that's going to be extruded. You notice that as soon as I get going down inside here it automatically goes to a cut and that's going to be 0 0.05 half the wall thickness. So you can see that that gives us then that, that indent now I could repeat that on this face, however I think it's a little easier to mirror it. So I'm going to select mirror. The feature that I want is this. The mirror plane is going to be the vertical plane. Now since I use that midpoint from the uh, origin folder, that makes the YZ plane the line of symmetry and you see it automatically then uh, will give us that on the other side. And then that completes the cow catcher basic shape. Let's go to a, to a bottom view. Next we'll add the three pegs that are on the bottom. We'll draw these as a circle. And that is 0.125. All three pegs have the same size. Now I could go ahead and add dimensions. I prefer to use our constraints. So those two are equal and so all three of these pegs have the same size. You can also at the same time add a vertical constraint. You can see it's shift over. Then we'll add the horizontal constraint. And as you can see we need a lot. Now we only need four dimensions. Let's move that down here so we can see it a little better. There we are. And let's go ahead and add those dimensions that we need. Now, plus, you can see um, how this moves by adding those constraints and why I need fewer dimensions now. So the distance here was 0.125. The distance between these two circles. This distance is 0.625, or excuse me, that distance is 0.5. And the distance between is 1.25. And the distance from center to center is 0.625. Again, all these dimensions are in your assignment sheet. And with these dimensions now, I'm once again fully constrained, which is important in our sketches that we keep them fully constrained. Let's go ahead and go to this isometric view. And again, keyboard shortcut the letter E. And we'll go ahead and 
extrude uh, our profiles. The, dis the extrusion distance is 0.125. That gives us now uh, the pegs, which line up with the train body. And the last part of this is to chamfer. And again, this is all in your assignment sheet. And the chamfer distance is 0 0.01. And we're using an equal distance, so that gives us also a 45 degree angle. That is the last part of this. The only thing that's remaining now is to sit back and admire your cow catcher. That is a completed part ready to go on the train body.